So we've been told for years that Tom Cruise walking uh, through the mall in Minority Report is the future. And I'm here to assert that that future is just so yesterday because all the technology that's coming will soon be so ubiquitous that it'll be a natural part of our lives. What people really want to know is what did you have for breakfast that was so interesting? In other words, what marketing is so powerful that you remember it? And we're going to take a whiplash tour some, through some powerful branding. Some use this tech. Some does not. Check this out. What if you sat on a park bench and with very simple technology, it instantly told you how much you weighed? Well, this is actually happening by a company called Fitness First Overseas. Now, if you knew what it was going to do, you might not want to sit there, but really simple use. What if you wanted to create your own emojis? Well, that's exactly what Foot Locker did, taking tons of top brands and now you can shoe moji each other with this app. Clever marketing that sticks. Now, what if you are Sharpie and you create an interactive display that allows people to pick up a marker and click the color they want and write on a cast? Again, we're not talking high tech here, but we're talking about something that people remember and it's all about making the impression. Or what if you're at CES and BMW tweets you and says, want to ride in our new i8? Well, heck yeah, I got 30 minutes to spare. Let's hit the highway. And when you've got people shooting video and taking pictures, this is a campaign that sticks and it's not about the tech technology. Now some are using technology. Merrill, the maker of boots, used the Oculus Rift to create an interactive experience that had people walking through the, uh, the act of mountain climbing. This is highly memorable stuff that people share, powerful marketing. And Uber does it once again, doing something to save lives with these test breathalyzers in Toronto. If you don't pass the breathalyzer, they send a free Uber vehicle to come and get you and I applaud them for that. If you litter in Hong Kong, they do something called photo DNA, and based on your litter, they can create what they think you look like and put you up on a billboard for all to see. This is clever stuff, goes highly viral. Huggies did something really incredible. This woman is blind and using 3D imaging, they were able to 3D print the face of her baby based on an ultrasound. Incredible stuff, high tech, yes. Sharing went off the roof. IBM, unplugged, billboards that are interactive, turn them into an umbrella, turn it into a park bench, turn it into a ramp. Smart ideas for smart cities was their campaign. And how smart is it to talk about IBM in an IBM event, huh? All right. <laughs> Take a simple sticker, put it over a mirror, and instantly you've got a compelling marketing campaign for a resort in the, uh, in the Riviera. Amazing people taking pictures. If you walked into a restroom and saw this, I guarantee you, you'd have your camera out. It's not about the technology. Walk down the red carpet in Korea, and you could be presented with flashing lights coming at you from the billboard promoting the Nikon D700 camera. Is this high-tech stuff? Not really, but it's memorable. And let's get really low tech. If you're at this shopping mall, you can become a flea on a dog promoting frontline flea and tick spray. Stuff like this is what's gonna stick with people. Again, it's not about the technology, but I'm sure we all heard about the WestJet Christmas miracle. People getting onto their plane in one destination spoke to Santa on a screen and they were surprised when they got off at the end destination and they had presents. Somebody got a tablet, somebody got a big screen TV, this poor guy got socks. And, <laughs> and if you saw the recent Super Bowl, Bud did this commercial where this guy was brought into a real life Pac-Man and got to run the map with people around him cheering. I don't know about you, but I want to do this. This is brilliant marketing. Powerade's doing some cool stuff too. They've got these billboards driving around town where you can lift weights, you can climb on the back of them like, like you're mountain climbing, you could punch it and see how hard your punch is. Again, folks, not high tech, but memorable. And now, speaking of the opposite of being active, Kmart branded with Joe Boxer to have an inactivity tracker wristband. This will tell you how long you've been sitting on the sofa and not doing anything. What kind of technology does that take? It gets shared like crazy. And finally, perhaps the best billboard of all time by Carlsberg is nothing more than a tap providing free beer to the passerbys. 
the point here is, is that in all our marketing, whether there's technology or not, it's the storytelling in interactive marketing that will always triumph. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.